Okay, so sometimes <laughs> uh, unfortunate circumstances does that you will be late for an appointment as I am now. And um, I thought I would just bring a word or two to that circumstance. Um, as soon as you know you're going to be late, you've got to call and say, I'm going to be late. There is nothing wrong with saying you are late due to being busy, uh, which is the case. I was um, uh, delayed, and then when you are delayed, you know you're delayed on, on one job. Then you would um, um, you have the choice between cutting that short which you're doing and by that getting less late to the next appointment um, but obviously that is a choice and I try to balance it so I will I will um, I will say something like um, we've got to wrap this up because um, uh, I have an appointment and I'm going to be such and such place at such a time and then I will wrap it up as fast as possible and then I would let the other person waiting know as soon as I get out into um, the car that I'm gonna be late and I will give an estimate of how much I'm late. Don't wait for the last five minutes to say that you're gonna be late. It's, um, it's not very nice because the customers have to be standing outside uh, the studio and um, uh, yeah that's basically not nice and um, um, worst case scenario is that you actually forget an appointment I mean I have photographed people for 25 years that has happened and it is um, well you put it in the wrong place in the calendar or you simply forgot now the simply forgot I don't do anymore but I used to do that simply because I thought oh that wasn't this Sunday was it or and um, one time I got a horrible lesson because I was basically due to a wedding and uh, I forgot the wedding. Now this wasn't just, all weddings are special, but this one was very very special because it was actually at a castle. I was a very young photographer, I have no idea really why they booked me, but um, I was very unexperienced and so on, so I, I swapped the, um, the days or something and um, thought it was next weekend and it wasn't then I really couldn't find my, my calendar to check and you know and this guy was, um, was the groom was a member of the uh, the Queen's Guard <laughs> so basically all his mates were there they were going to do this swords um, uh, thing where you walk under the swords hilt like this and uh, I was not there and that is the most of course, I, I sent them, I can't remember what I did, I sent them a bottle of wine and then, uh, chocolate and so on, so I'm very, very sorry. And rightly so, they totally ignored me, and that's, that's the most embarrassing thing I have done as a photographer in my career as a photographer. That's that one. So there you got it. Um, so, that taught me a lesson. I mean, Basically, sometimes your customers are the ones that has to teach you a lesson. But, um, and, and I will say this much, that you are never going to be so good that your customers cannot teach you a lesson. Because, um, just the other day, somebody gave me a good idea while I was editing that you could also do this and that. And they, they, uh, don't underestimate the, the customer's ability to uh, uh, 
evaluate what you just done and come with uh, good ideas and so on. That's a that's a key advice. Don't underestimate the the customer and don't be late. If you're late, tell them you're late and tell them how much. Now I'm gonna call my customer again because they didn't answer, so I left a message and I said on the answering machine that I would uh, call back and and. Uh, Be sure to get in charge with them, right? So uh, that's a top priority. Okay, so I'm gonna call my customer now. So, much to my point, I just talked to my uh, customer. She said, oh, thank you very much for the message. We did hear it and I am, um, and it was totally fine, but it's it's uh, uh, rainy weather today and uh, they're very, so they'll just wait in the car and so on. So it's just that this was, she actually, um, thanked me very specifically on it. Oh, so nice that you call and let us know. So it's just to make that point that this is very important. Do not wait until the last se second and say, oh, uh, I'm a little bit, I'm still stuck in traffic. I'll be there in five minutes. Because they five, those five minutes is where they stand outside in the rain getting completely wet and their mood is just gonna go down, down, down. And, and that's not good. So now I had a nice talk with her, she knows who I am already and, and we got a nice feel of each other. So that's cool and I could hear the kids in the background totally controlled and now she knows okay I can take it easy in the car. Um, and the photographer will, will be seven, eight minutes late, okay? So that was just to give you guys an update. All is well.